Today I'm sharing how to use a card sketch to make a shaker gift bag using products from the Stamps of Life. Welcome to my channel, this is Kendra. And today we have a collaboration hop featuring products from the Stamps of Life, which is one of the new Kendra's Card Challenge 14 super sponsors this quarter. Me and a few members of the video team are sharing projects made with products from the Stamps of Life using the Kendra's Card Challenge number 14 sketches. As I already mentioned, I'll be sharing how to make a shaker gift bag using sketch number six, and this is a giveaway video hop, so stay tuned for details on how to enter and have a chance to win a digital download prize from me. The Stamps of Life sent us some goodies to create with, and these are the products that I'll be using for my project today. This is a stamp set called Wreath Words, and it's got some great sentiments that I know I'll be using again, especially the happy belated birthday, because for some reason I just can't get my cards out in the mail soon enough. But this is the Swirly Sun Fold It Die Set. It's got several layers to cut out a sun. I think it was designed to be a shaped card that will fit in a 5x7 envelope, so this is much larger than an A2 card, which is the size of the sketches in my challenge printable. So I'm going to have to make some adjustments for my project, but there's also some epoxy dots, a 4-pack. There's three different shades of orange plus some glitter dots, and then there's the 6x6 paper pad called Shine. It's double-sided paper with this... Um, it has some fun summary patterns, and I'll just quickly go through the rest of these patterns so you can see what's in here. I know it's a little difficult to see on camera, but there are stripes on some of these uh, solid looking colored ones, and then there are some solid papers. But I love that it has some pineapples and flamingos and palm trees in large and small, and then it also has some solid colors as well. And then this one has the word shine. Um, there's one that's bigger and then there's one that's smaller. And then we're back to the beginning. So I'm pretty excited to use this paper pad. It's super cute. Now, as I mentioned before, for this project, I'm using sketch number six from my current quarterly challenge number 14. I really wanted to use the sun die set, so I needed to make a project that would be big enough to where I could use it. And it just so happens that the... KCC 14 inspiration hop over on Instagram is happening today and this is where members are sharing bags and boxes that are inspired by the challenge 14 sketches so this worked out perfectly I have this white bag and this holographic bag and since the white one is a little bit messed up I'm going to go ahead and use this holographic one but here I'm just pulling out all of the blue papers because I plan to use that for my background and then I'm also pulling out the yellow for the sun so I definitely like this holographic um, bag better than the white one. It's just kind of hard to video and photograph holographic stuff. So I apologize if my pictures look weird. And I apologize for the sound. My husband is outside mowing. Um, I told him that he needed to leave so that I could do a voiceover. And of course, you know, he goes outside and fires up the lawnmower. Anyway, here I'm just cutting down the the um, strips here to measure one and then one and one eighth by five and a quarter. And then for the sun, I'm using these yellow papers, the solid one for the bottom or for the largest layer, the lighter for the middle layer, and then the one, the darker one with the stripes for the top layer. And now I'm just cutting a piece of fun foam, trimming it down, but my trimmer did not cut all the way through. And one thing I wanted to mention about the dies they're kind of hard to line up so I took a sharpie and I put a dot on all three pieces so that I could easily line them up back on my magnet when I'm done but here I'm just taping the smallest two dies together so that I can cut out this piece of fun foam to make my shaker card and here I'm just taking my scissors and cutting off um, just the end so I can run it through my smaller die cutting machine so here I have uh, the pieces cut so now I'm just going to glue these pieces down onto this white cardstock, and it does measure five and a half by eight and a quarter so that I have a border. 
but um, I'll go ahead and tell you how to enter the giveaway for this hop. So for a chance to win a digital download from me, you'll want to complete the form that's linked in the description box below, and then hop along and watch the other videos in the playlist. You can complete the form for each video that you watch for more chances to win, but you'll want to do this by May 10th of 2024, and the winner will be randomly chosen and announced on my community tab, so make sure you're a subscriber to my channel and have those notifications turned on so you don't miss any of my posts, as you will have to claim your prize if you're the winner. So back to the card. Right now I am trying to stamp the Keep Smiling stamp onto the blue background and I'm trying to pick out some embossing powder and ended up picking out the holographic embossing powder and uh, I could have edited this out but I wanted to show you kind of how how things happen I did not plan this project ahead of time this is just kind of a work in progress as I go but I added some Versamark ink to that and here I'm adding that holographic embossing powder and I didn't really think about it not showing up very well. I guess I thought that it would it would show up. I don't know. I should have stamped a darker color behind it, but I didn't. So here you can see that I'm trying to evenly heat this up. And yeah, you can see what it says when you tilt it, but it's definitely not dark enough. So um, putting it back into my stamping positioner and I tried to add some Versamark uh, Nocturne ink on top and I dried it just a little bit with my heat tool and then I decided to set that aside to dry while I glued down each of the pieces or the layers for the sun um, but you'll see I end up doing something different with that sentiment there so for the shaker part I'm adding the fun foam that I cut out I'm just adding some glue to that and I'm gluing this directly onto the two layers of the sun and then before I glue down that top layer, I'm going to put this circle piece of acetate that's just a little bit bigger than the opening. It's actually two inches. You won't really be able to see the edges um, that much, but here I'm just adding some shaker bits. I added a little bit too many, so I'm just trying to uh, remove some of that, but this kind of, this matches the paper, paper perfectly, so I was really happy that I had that in my stash. But um, now that I have the the bits in there and I've got the acetate piece glued on to the back of the top layer I'm just going to line this up and try to make sure that I cover up that fun foam really well and so now I have my shaker piece so that black ink never dried on top of that embossing powder so here I'm just stamping it out again with some yellow ink and I know yellow is kind of hard to see but it, it matched really well and I did stamp it out I tried some different colors but I like the one the lighter shade and then here I'm just adding some double-sided adhesive to the back of that whole piece and I wanted to make sure that it was going to be strong enough to stay on the front of this bag so um, lining that up directly in the center and then here I'm just covering up my embossed mistake there so for the shaker piece I'm also adding some double-sided adhesive to the back of this and I'm going to add some liquid glue as well just to make sure that it stays. I'm using this pick, pick up tool that I got um, not too long ago. It's really helpful for removing the backer from those. So I just stuck this down and because it says keep smiling, I wanted to use these epoxy dots as well. So I just made a face on the front of that sun. And I know it's kind of hard to see because it's the same color as the shaker bits behind it. But when you shake it around, you can see the smiley face. Now I also added some of those dots up next to the sentiment and then I took some white and silver ribbon that I had and I tied a bow up there on the handle and this finishes up my project for today. I really hope you like it and I hope that you'll check out all of the other inspiration that there is in store with products from the Stamps of Life. The link to the playlist of all of the videos in this hop is down in the description box. All you have to do is click on that link and you can watch all of the videos in one spot. And don't forget to complete the form to have a chance to win a digital download from me. Now to enter my challenge, you can win lots of prizes for creating cards using the card sketches that I provide in my free PDF. It's a challenge that runs from April 1st to June 30th of 2024, and it's available to download for free during the quarter. 
So if you join the challenge and post your cards on social media, you can have a chance to win one of many prizes valued at over $1,000 from over 20 different companies, including the Stamps of Life. And they have generously offered a gift certificate as a quarterly prize for participating in the challenge. So for more information about the challenge, I will link the Challenge 14 introduction video above and in the description box below. And this explains more about it and how to enter and uh, cut the papers and all that. So um, just check out the link down below. I hope you'll join us on the challenge. It really is a lot of fun. I'd like to thank the Stamps of Life for being a super sponsor and for sending us some products to create with. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and also subscribe to my channel if you're not already a subscriber. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again soon. Have a wonderful day. Thank <music> you.